I'm not muted. I'm just not talking. It's, it's, oh, sorry. <clears throat> it's chill time. I'm gonna RP as a, uh, as a one viewer Andy. Who's just so focused on gameplay that he doesn't talk. Are you okay, Mr. Logs? Am I ever okay? The answer is yes. <laughs> Fuck. I keep failing at this. It's so hard to turn off my facade. Mmm. Spriggan's booty. Is this full combo? <gasps> it's Maxi. Damn, I hate Maxi so much. <laughs> It ruins so many of my decks, and I love to play so many different kinds of decks. I'm so glad I just happened to draw into an out to the maxi. Which means I'm allowed to play the damn game. Are you doing viewer duels today? I don't wanna. Damn it, Ash Blossom too? <sighs> Called by using 62% of decks is necessary. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Tally ho. Do they have grass? Detach materials? Yes. Detach literally just one material because I didn't get any goddamn spriggans. Select a card, add from your deck to your hand. Okay. Branga? Rocky? Target or Spriggan's monster in your graveyard? I don't have any Spriggan monsters in my grave. Kit? Special summon a monster to the board? Oh crap, I already have Branded and High Spirit in my hands. I have nothing to... Search. <laughs> oh no, I messed up. <laughs> Bold spider that plays Yu Gi Oh? No way. Okay, now it's time to watch my opponent. They stopped. A single one of my plays with that Ash Blossom, and I just was not able to recover from that. No Regulus? What? Oh, do I not play Regulus in this deck? I think Regulus is the card I search instead of a. Uh, Tally Ho, right? Yeah, yeah, Champion Sargas is the one who searches out Regulus. I guess Regulus would have been a much better play. I'm pretty sure Regulus is in here. What did they banish? Oh crap, is it Dragon Link? Thinking real hard about this next play, huh? <clears throat> oh, they're disconnecting. Connection failed? Mm-hmm. They probably rage quit. What deck is it again? 
Spurgeon's Bistial. Yeah, I have Regulus right here. Hmm. Never even occurred to me to go into Regulus. I should have probably looked at my deck before playing this. You are going first? Whoa! They let me go first even though I lost the coin toss? Hmm. Let's see. Spriggan's Booty, Golgonda, Spriggan's Watch, set it up, go into Merrymaker, go into Sargas, Tally Ho. What do I go in after Tally Ho? Some rank 4 shit? What do I even have to search off of Gear Giant? This is assuming everything goes through. I don't even know what to do. I didn't think I'd get this far. Okay, Spriggan's Watch. Uh, add one Spriggan's Monster from your deck to your hand. Yeah, I don't know which one to add to my hand. Branga, I guess. And then Captain Sargassian. Then the Great Sansi. Send Branga to the grave. Go into Merrymaker. Use Merrymaker. Send Brothers to the grave. Use brother to bring back S Sargaz. Sargas. Okay, then I have to equip these two to Mary Maker before I go into the big captain. Which deck do you think is winning Worlds? I have no idea. Okay, and then big champion Sargaz. Okay, and then we search out... Um, Tally Ho Spriggans. Now the problem is I don't know where to go from here. I can bring out three monsters, but I don't know what to do with these monsters. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Do I already have Kit and Rocky? Okay, if I have Kit and Rocky, we can just add Brothers. Special summon monsters to the board. Two... And three. Okay, now, Gear Giant. Can I even go into anything with this? No, it's Gear Gigant, not Gear Giant. What can I search? Just Rocky, that's it? This is garbage. I gotta remove this card. I think this card was originally added in back when Cyberstein was still something you could search. Okay, now we can go into <laughs> nothing much, I guess. Once per turn, two monsters at the same time, level five machine monster in your graveyard to your hand. Uh, I have nothing else to do, except maybe do this. Okay, select a card to return to the deck. Branded in high spirit. Send this card to the grave. Send Iron Dash to the grave. Add a Fallen of Albaz card. Add back Kit. 
Do I have a level 8 to go into? I could hard go into Gigantic Sargaz. Or I can go into this card. Exablower. Then I can special summon Kit. What are we playing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying my best though. Time Thief or Doer? No, we'll just go into Abyss Dweller. Okay. Oh, do I have a card in the graveyard I can use? Oh, I can attach a material to Rocky, I guess. Iron Dash activates. Kept cooking. This deck took so long to do everything. Like, holy shit. I was not expecting that for this mediocre board that can't do anything. <laughs> no Draco Future? I don't play Draco Future in this deck, apparently. This is supposed to be a, um, a bestial version of the deck. Oh, wait, that proc Sargaz? God damn it. Wait, what was the message that was deleted? No Zeus? I can't go into Zeus on my first turn. Now it's time for my opponent who patiently waited for me. First time Chatter talking a little bit too crazy. I'm kind of curious what it was. <sighs> Where's Hope Harbringer? Right? I don't I'm surprised I don't have any good rank eights in this deck. To go into outside of Exablower, which is pretty much a pure going second card. Is this just Labyrinth? Oh, they do have the Labyrinth profile image. Hello, Mr. Logs. I am not the Mr. Logs. Excellent. Good to see you. Labyrinth or Trap Tricks? Probably Labyrinth. Absolute King Backjack. Are they going to go into a Link Karibo? Normal Summon? That's it? <laughs> Set 4 Pass. How original, Co Money. Spriggins Branga. Okay, first up, activate Spriggan's Exablower. Good evening. Hello there, Stimpak. Oh my god, I thought you were busy. Why not both? Ha ha ha, they don't know what I'm going to target. The ability doesn't target. It's a non-target control. You can choose one of your opponent's monster zones or spell and trap card zones. Detach any number of materials from this card. And if you do, destroy the same number of cards your opponent controls in that chosen zone and its adjacent monster zones and or spell and trap card zones. Maybe they're reading it and they're like, how does this work? I guess they don't have Link Karubo? Probably not. You step away for a minute and see Backjack. I know, right? I have to assume they're reading Exablower right now. Is it Exablower or is it Exblower? You're watering your garden? Oh, how nice. Hey, Logs. Not sure if you saw Danny's sub replays last week, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry for styling on your cousin Master Duel for a replay. I hope you can forgive me. On oh, my cousin? What are you talking about? No, Leo's banned me from Danny's chat, so I didn't see it. Well, not true. Not banned. I'm just not allowed to be annoying, so I can't physically be in his chat without being annoying because I can't help myself. Basically the same thing. Wall springings, but you're always annoying. <clears throat> I saw this meme that was like, you know you have anxiety if you think you're annoying all the time, and I'm just like... Hmm, maybe I am just annoying though, you know? I do have anxiety, but also maybe I'm just annoying too. Stimpak, why does he hate you so much? Wait, what? Never, apparently? 
You bitches. It took him that long to activate Arcfiend's Ghastly Glitch, which isn't even one of the cards being targeted for the effect. Teach Stim DDD, you bitches only, oh sorry, you people only told Stim Pack to play that specifically because you know that I hate DDD. It's not just a crutch during people used to question if they're annoying or not. Gravedigger's Trap Hole. Welcome, Labyrinth. Should I gift a sub? Stim a sub? She doesn't have a sub? Yeah, go ahead and gift her one. Abyss Dweller, Arcfiend's Ghastly Glitch. Send a card from your deck to the graveyard. Chat, he told me you were trolling me. Yeah, literally you guys are just trolling her. They only told her to... Does it have to destroy the card or can it destroy a different one? I don't think it really matters. Oh, it doesn't. Cool, so I can get rid of Absolute King Backjack too. And then they can pop one monster on the board. But Stim wants to learn pens. She keeps asking me to teach her very complicated archetypes. And I'm just like, I don't even know how to play these archetypes. Like, I know how to play against them, but I don't know how to play them. She loves pendulums. You guys are literally... Here, let me tell you guys the story about DDD. Back when I was a streamer for Yu-Gi-Oh! Mass... Not Master Duel. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. People would constantly... There was a new wave of DDD support that came out, right? So people would come to my chat all the time and they would ask me, Hey, Duel Logs, you gonna play DDD? And I'm just like, I wasn't planning on it. And then a different person would come in, hey, Duvlogs, there's new DDD support. You gonna play it? And I'm just like, uh, no, I wasn't planning on it. And another person goes, hey, Duvlogs, new DDD support. You gonna play it? And I'm just like, wait, why do you guys keep asking me about DDD? Like, why do all of these completely different people keep coming into my chat and ask me to play DDD? Like, what is so popular about DDD? And I'd get no answers. No one said shit. And then have another person come in and be like, hey, Duologs, there's new DD support. Are you going to play it? And I'm just <laughs> like, uh, no. Another person go, hey, Duologs, there's new DD support. Are you going to play it? When I ask a chat again, it's like, why do you guys keep asking me if I'm playing DDDs? No one would answer. And then someone else would come in. Hey, Duologs, there's new DD support. Are you going to play it? And I'm just like, no, I'm not. And someone else going, hey, hey, did you hear about the new DD support? And this would happen every day. Every day, new, brand new people would come in and ask me if I was going to play the new DDD support. And also, none of them would tell me why. They would just ask me about and do it. And I was just like, why do you guys keep asking me about DDDs? And no one would tell me. And eventually got to the point where I just banned anyone who had mentioned it. He's like, shut the fuck up about DDDs. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I hate DDDs. Eventually, someone explained to me. That DDDs were played by a very popular character in the anime. It's just... It took them forever to explain this to me. I don't get why no one would just explain that. It seems so easy. Everybody was obviously enamored by DDDs, and yet nobody wanted to explain to me why they were. So anyways, that's why they're trying to tell you to get me to teach you DDDs, Tim. It's because my chat was annoying. And people are weird. They are. They're so annoying. I had nothing against DDD until they refused to tell me why they wanted me to play it so badly. Okay. Ooh, Iron Dasher. Does this count as going to the graveyard again? Now will you play D? I have played DDDs before. Now they're going into Lovely Lady. You absolute buffoon! None of my monsters have more than 3,000 attack. 
What is this bullshit? During your main phase, you can detach one Xyz from this material, and if you do, add this card to your hand. <gasps> Ooh, I want to do that. Target Captain Gigantic Sargaz. Send this card to the graveyard. Add back Tally Ho. Proc the effect of Giant Gigantic Sargazian. 29, 3000. Which one is easier to beat? Mm, we probably want this one in the grave. Destroy it? Yes. Okay, and then. Oh, I can go into Nightmare Phoenix, apparently. Cool. Use this to send Branga to the graveyard. Go into Merrymaker. Use Merrymaker in order to send a card from the deck to the graveyard, which we'll use on <gasps> Spriggan's Rocky. And then go into Rocky to use the effect to add a card back to my hand. We'll add Brothers. Okay. Stop telling me I don't have any time left. You think I don't know this? Okay, we'll use this to get rid of these three. To go into Alt Art Nightmare Phoenix in order to very slowly whittle away their deck of resources. And then use Brothers to special summon a card from the graveyard. Can I special summon this one in attack position? Nope. It's defense position. Oh well, that gives me quick effect destruction and a negation. Nice Phoenix. What the hell are you guys talking about? There's no Phoenix on the board. Shh. What should I order from DoorDash today? <laughs> Arby's? Oh, Arby's isn't half bad. DoorDash KSV, $20 fill-up box. Ooh. Do the event. Okay. Question. Hey, Duologs. How did you get the Nightmare Unicorn art? Um, it was only available for a limited time. And I made sure to pull a bunch of packs until I got it. It was a devious strategy to get me to buy a pack that I already had. Oh my god, is this my... Oh yeah, this is the... um, The... Uh, whatchamacallit? The mirror match. I like this deck. Troll Despair Lab event. I'm playing lab. Wait, there was a hype train? First to go! Armageddon Designator. I love Armageddon Designator. It's so bad. So currently I'm making a video called 12 Hours of Useless Yu-Gi-Oh Cards. Where I'm basically just compiling together my top 10s about the bad cards. But in between each segment I'm adding a new segment where I talk about a brand new bad card. And one of them is the Crossout Designator. Okay, so Lullaby of Obedience. Um, I'm trying to think. I have Welcome Labyrinth, but I don't have Ku Clock, and I can't get Ku Clock. But I can use Lullaby of Obedience. Uh, Labyrinth. I want an Ariana. If you have an Ariana, give it to me, because that will be... Combo. <laughs> that will be Combo. <laughs> Come on, give me an Ariana. cross side doesn't have only bad at TCG because TCG doesn't have Maxi. Yeah, Maxi is so annoying. I asked you to teach me Dragon Link and you said no. I told you no because I don't know how to play Dragon Link. Do they have it? Do they have an Ariana? Oh, they do. <laughs> they do have one. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Come on, I need this to search out Ku Clock. Yes, I'll activate my Ariana's effect. 
Yeah, our lab. No, don't cool. Oh my god. I didn't even get to do my combo. <laughs> the quit because I took an Ariana. <laughs> Am I almost done with the event? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's only one more gem reward. He bullied them. I literally just played one card and won. I didn't even get to do the combo. I wanted to add Ku Clock. Then I could set Big Welcome with Chandelier. Then I could use Ku Clock to activate Big Welcome in order to bring out Lovely Lady and then return Ariana. I think it would return to their hand. Which would proc the effect to destroy one card in their hand. Ooh, full combo. Oh my god, Lullaby of Obedience. <laughs> this time I need Lovely Lady. <laughs> Labyrinth. Um, Lady Labyrinth. Okay, they're not playing Labyrinths. Okay. Normal summon Ariana, and then we're gonna search out a big welcome from the deck. Okay, then we set big welcome, activate Labyrinth Ku Clock in order to activate big welcome. In order to bring out Lovely Lady. Then return Ariana to the hand. Then activate Lovely Lady. Getting rid of one card from their hand. Then use Lovely Lady to reset Big Welcome. And I guess I'll just play Retort even though I can't use it. Okay, then my opponent's turn. Then during their draw phase, I'll use Big Welcome in order to proc the effect again. Big Welcome Labyrinth. Okay, we're going to search out Lady Labyrinth. It's going to come back to the hands, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and then this will proc her effect to get rid of one more card from their hand. So we hammer up them for two before their turn starts. And then we bring out Lady Labyrinth. Even though the other card is unusable at the moment. Okay, lovely lady gets rid of another card. Damn, I hit two snows? Hopefully they can't do anything now that they're starting two cards down. But it looks like as though they're playing Dark Worlds and I hit the same card twice. If they didn't put Labyrinth's Loner deck, the event would have been better. They're using card destruction? Hmm. Should I activate Ku Clock now? No, I think it's better if I just draw a card off of it. Damn, two Pot of Extravagances. So what did they ditch? A rainbow? That's it? They only ditched a rainbow? What does this card do if it's discarded? If this card's discarded, add a level 5 or higher Dark World monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, I think it brings itself out from the graveyard, right? Gold. Will Team Deniers win lots of moon coins? I hope so. I'm playing a good deck, though. I'm playing anti-Dark World Dark Worlds. Select a card to send to the graveyard. I don't need two extravagances. One will suffice. Gold? Uh-oh, this gives them big welcome. Wait, how did they special? Did they normal summon? Yeah, they normal summoned it. So now they have Rainbow Overkin. Overking, excuse me. They got rid of the card which hand ripped them for two. Man, this retort is useless face down right now. Okay, and then a chandelier. Hopefully this pot of extravagance gives me something good. Banish six cards to draw two. I don't know what my opponent's doing. They're trying their best. They're not running dangers with Dark Worlds? Yeah, they're just playing like a pure Dark World variant. And I don't really know what the end goal of this is. Oh, I can use Big Welcome from the Graveyard now? Ooh, nice. I can trigger some effects. Looks like I can use Big Welcome from the Graveyard to bounce one of their cards back to their hand. But then I can't really do anything else. 
Hmm, especially something that doesn't trigger any of my cards. Does Ku Clock even come back from the graveyard? I don't think it does. I think I'm better off just going into attack position and then attacking. Or using Labyrinth Chandelier to go to the graveyard. In order just to get another big welcome or welcome Labyrinth from the deck. Royal Decree. Okay, that's fine. I can bounce Royal Decree with big welcome. Okay, Chandelier. And, oh, it activates Ku Clock in the Grave? Neat. If I get Ku Clock on the board, is there anything good I can do with this? Nightmare Phoenix. I could go into Nightmare Phoenix. Discard one Fiend Monster, target the three cards in any graveyard, then target. You can banish this card. Banish them, and then discard one Fiend Monster. Oh, shoot. They're just going to completely ham bone my graveyard. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. My Labyrinth Ku Clock. When will the Labyrinth Chibi Female Knight be a card? I know, right? Thanks for the Prime Makashtik. Okay. Well, we can activate Labyrinth Lab. What card do they add to their hand? Genta? Okay. Put this card into attack position. Go into the battle phase. This card cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects during the turn in which it does things. Main phase two. We'll set two welcomes and pass. Because I can just bounce their shit during their turn with World Decree. Activating gold. Okay, I'm gonna do this now. Big welcome from the graveyard in order to bounce this card back to their hand. That way my trap cards get turned on. I got an ad. Are they running Zalamantide's Catalyst? What? <gasps> the Gates of Dark World. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll activate Welcome Labyrinth. Oh wait, I don't have a big lady in my deck, do I? Okay. Silver Castle. Um. Hmm. I need to get a Ku Clock out. Should I just get another big welcome? Yeah, let's get another big welcome going. Welcome Labyrinth. Ooh, can I search out Ku Clock and then activate it? Okay. Use the effect. Yes. Now we can pop any card on the board and go plus for days. The Gates of Dark World. Okay. I can add a card from my deck to the hand. And then use Chandelier. Do I have any Ku Klux left? Yeah, I have one in my graveyard. I don't think I have any more in my deck, though. I do have a Ku Clock in my deck. Okay. Activate Ku Clock. <laughs> okay, then they're going to activate their... Field Spell. In order to add some more cards going. The gate is going to bring itself back. Then they're going to draw a card. And then... Not sure what they're going to do. If they go for the fusion summon... Then all I want to do is just... <gasps> they have the big dude with its 3300 attack. It matches Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castell and attack point prowess. Our turn... Battle phase. Whoa, they're going for it. <laughs> Wait, how come I can't use... Oh, fuck, I already used Big Welcome this turn. I forgot about that. I used Ku Clock for no reason. Uh-oh. 
Okay, then they bring it back, and then they set their one card, and then pass. That's fine, as long as I just chain it in response to them using it. Hmm. Big welcome! And if they don't use it, then I can just pop it with my other card. Yeah, now we use big welcome. It still works. I love your vids. Why, thank you, Marigold. Select a card to special summon from your deck. I want Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castell. Select a card to return? Yeah, I'll return this one. Use the effect? Yeah, I'll use this to pop this. <laughs> Good luck resolving a royal decree when it's no longer on the board, idiot. Okay, and now we have another one, and then we can get back Welcome Labyrinth from the graveyard. The other copy we had there. Okay, normal summon Arion. In order to add um a big welcome. Retort counter trap is yeah, the retort counter trap is only useful in the mirror match. Let's see, I can use two cards. Do I have Ku Clock available? I don't think I do. I want to go into... Oh, it's banished right now. I don't have anything good in the graveyard. I think we can just crash. And then just activate a normal spell card on my next turn. A normal trap. Like Ichiro's ledger book in order to special summon back Big Lady from the grave. Activate Chandelier will get you your clock back. Wait, does it? Crap. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> well, whatever. Sometimes life gives you lemons, and sometimes it gives you lemonade. The misplay logs? I might have been able to win last turn if I had done that. I forgot that triggers Ku Clock. I need Ku Klux so hard for this deck to work, it ain't even funny. Okay. They're gonna activate another one. Wait, what are they doing with this card? Discard this card, add one of the Gates of the Dark World from your deck to your hand. Another Gates of Dark World with its soft once per turns. I need them to get a monster on the board. Okay. Banish one card. Discard one card. Activate Cerulean. And then they give up. Because I was winning too hard. I'm sorry, but Labyrinth has outs to Floodgates. What can I say? They're the Floodgate Masters. Chat's invisible? Chat's on screen. What are you gonna do with Cash Tier comes to MD? Have fun with it. Didn't they already ban Diablos? Oh man, I can't do anything with this stand. This hand sucks. Torby. Send one of these to the graveyard. Then we can set welcome or big welcome. If we set big welcome. I can just return lady in my hand. And then just use her again. And set retort just in case, I guess. <coughs> Draw phase. My opponent draws one card. I activate big welcome because I want to rip a card from their hand before they do anything. All right, I can also set another card from my deck. Which card should I set from my deck? Welcome Labyrinth, of course. Special summon out Lovely Lady. Okay, and then return Lady Labyrinth to my hand. 
Wait, when did Torby get in the grave? I don't even remember that. <clears throat> and then just bring it back. Are there decks that counter cast here, or is the counter just nice monster? Now it's a turtle. I don't know if there's any decks that natively counter Kashtira. You kind of just need the outs. <gasps> Ooh, I hit Lightning Storm in their hand. Hopefully they don't have another Lightning Storm. That would suck. Pot of Desires. Okay. At least I can convert my dead cards in hand into... um. Oh, they're playing full anti-meta. Another lightning storm. I can just get another big welcome. Destroy all spell traps your opponent controls. That's fine. All they got was a welcome labyrinth. I can just get another one. No, but I have big welcome to the graveyard. I probably want to get another welcome labyrinth out. Hello, Mr. Spider. How goes the children's card games today? Excellent. Okay. Nova Summoner. What are they trying to use this to go into? What 1500 attack or less light fairy monster is going to help him here? Consecrated Light? They didn't go into any. Oh, they can't special summon because of Pot of Duality. <laughs> I got the gems. I want to do one more. I actually want to do a counter. I want to do a mirror match. Chaos Hunter is a good card. Assume you get OTK your turn, or else they'll crash over it. Chaos Hunter. You are going first. Excellent. I love going first against Labyrinth decks. Come on, give me more Labyrinth decks. I want to eat the Labyrinths for breakfast. This hand is not good enough. I need an Ariana or a Big Welcome. Then it'll be good enough. Six cards. Well, actually, I have Lovely in my hand already. I kind of need that in my deck. Draw two. Shoot. This isn't good enough. Hmm. Well, let's activate Torby in order to send Armageddon Designator to the grave. And then set a big welcome to the field. Then we need to normal summon Torby so we have a named Labyrinth monster on the board so I can use Ku Clock in order to activate Big Welcome in order to special summon the card from my hand. <laughs> Why? Why? Why the card from my hand? This is so bad. This hand sucks. And then return Torby back to the hand. Then use the effect of Lovely Lady in order to pop a card in their field, and then I guess we get Torby back. Okay, hello there, Torby. Did you miss me? One card in their hand. Okay, and then Lovely Lady in order to get back. Big welcome. Oh man, this ledger book is gonna go hard. Okay. Logs, a little birdie told me you want a kitty. Who? Who told you that? I never said that. Who's lying about me? Okay. Uh-oh. They're going to banish it. Well, whatever. Big welcome in order to bring out... I could go into Arion and return Torby back because I have an extra card on the board. We use this one to pop another card in their hand and then we add Lovely Lady of the Silver Castle.
Uh, there she is. And then we pop another card in their hand. And then we activate Lady of the Silver Castle. Man, this each you a ledger book. And then they only start with three cards. <laughs> Crap. They also had Harpy's Feather Duster. I kind of needed that. Ooh, I have a Ku Clock. I can get another card. What did I use? I use Big Welcome, right? Yeah, let's do this, I guess. Send Torby to the grave. Set Welcome Labyrinth. He moved out, sadly. <gasps> no, don't summon it! Crap. <laughs> I wanted that in my hand. Wait, I can send it from the field or hand to the graveyard, right? No, it has to be discarded. Crap. Well, I didn't need it anyway. That was a crutch. At least the Unchained don't activate Destroyed in Hand. I know, right? We can't wait for the next Labyrinth Trap card called the Biggest Welcome Labyrinth. I know, right? Stop using my cards as materials to go into your Link Summons. Unchained Soul of Anguish. Target one face-up card. They can't use Lady Labyrinth because she can't be targeted. Unchained Abomination. I don't think this card targets, though. You can also just destroy it. A small Welcome Labyrinth. <laughs> right? I can't believe they dismantled my board so easily with only three cards, too. Okay, let's see. Damn it. I drew into another Ku Klux. They had to include Welcome Labyrinth because of the field spell. Not sure if that's a good design. Is it specify Welcome Labyrinth? I thought it was just like Labyrinth cards. He's gonna play World Decree Turbo. Did you see the duel where I won through my opponent's World Decree because I just bounced it to their hand with Big Welcome? It's too easy. A little Welcome Labyrinth. Welcome Labyrinth! I can finally do plays. As long as they don't have more back row hate. Oh crap, it's during either player's end phases? I thought it was only their end phase. Never mind, no, I can't do anything. They got me all because I accidentally special summoned Ku Klok to the field. I like removing an element of choice so that I don't have to think. What's in our spider? Good question. It's a deck that lose hard against meta, which is all I ever face in this tier. I thought this would be the new gold, but like I never go against bad decks ever. Full six months. Hello there, maple. Are you here to gloat? I want waffles. What's a good place with the waffles? 
Ooh, full combo. Let's hope they don't have Ash Blossom. What would I gloat about? You beat me in a duel earlier today. I went into Maple's chat and I typed in her chat very politely um, 1v1 and I also gave her 25 bits and she was like no you piece of garbage our hands were so shit she's gloating so hard right now that was yesterday shut up go keep Really? My only target is Shiny Squatter? <laughs> Special Summon Squatter to the field? Destroy a card? No, don't destroy a card. You absolute buffoon. Control no monsters. Special Summon this card from your hand. Damn, I'm toxic. You are toxic. I'm just glad you recognize your faults. People who play are probably like, WTF cards are they using? I know, right? I'd probably need to adjust this deck a little bit. In our cards are specifically designed for in our format, so <laughs> they don't work on the ladder. For pretty obvious reasons, I would probably assume you guys would understand. Do I have any synchro monsters? I do have synchro monsters, but I can't go into any of them. You're gonna write twit longer. You can't do twit longers anymore, Maple. Don't you know anything? Twit longers don't exist anymore. Oops, I accidentally hit cancel. This one, this one, and this one. You're not terminally online? Oh my god, good for you. I know too many streamers who are terminally online, so I just assume all of you guys are. Is the runic fountain the fountain of life? Also, once I drink it, will my life be meaningless? I don't know what the fountain of life is, and yes. Maple's so toxic, she wraps around and becomes untoxic? What do you mean she wraps around? She is just toxic. Did they use Sekka's Light? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. What is the setting you put the pop-up when you use a card? The usage rate? Um, I don't know. I think it's turned on by default. Alpha, the master of beasts, the card which doesn't target. Well, that gets around my one protection in the graveyard for my berserker of the tenue. Another alpha? Or are they just playing... I mean, unless they can pop Giant Ballpark, I can kind of stop their stratagem. And GG's? Not really. Giant Ballpark stops one instance of damage, which is all this deck does. They're better off just to summon a whole bunch of big, meaty... Wait, what? A Blackwing? Oh, they're going to go into level 10 and then pop it, and then they win. Blind rank 8s. Now they're going to Barone first. They need to get rid of Giant Ballpark. Yeah. They have it. My spiders got stopped. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm really hankering for some waffles. I wonder if I can buy some. You said you needed to adjust the deck? Um, I did, but I don't want to anymore. I changed my mind. Fuck! Hmm. 
three Adharas. Some full Swarso combos. I could go into some combos with that. My NR Spider deck, I need to make some changes to it so it's not garbage. Nice spiders, why thank you. Um, Mother's Spider plus Insect Imitation plus all these level 4s. What are with all these 10 yees? I don't understand the use of the 10 yees. Did the new spider support come out yet? No. Wait, yeah, it did. The baby spiders are level 3 and also dark. I'm trying to think. How could I make this deck better? I know how. Get rid of the Tenyi bullshit. Well, not all of the Tenyi bullshit. Just some of the Tenyi bullshit. And then... Mm. Kirikara... This should work better. And then my extra deck should have some decent cards. Oh, I removed Adhara, didn't I? Astophilus. Astophilus. Okay. Wallow. Do I have a Zeus? There's a Zeus. Okay, this should work better. I should probably also re replace Forbidden Chalice with Forbidden Droplet. Oh, I should also probably get rid of Giant Ballpark. <laughs> and add a um, two triples tactics and Harpy's Feather Duster. What about Astral Karibo? What do I need Astral Karibo for? Who's going first? I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> Wandering Griffin Rider. Nimble Beaver. If they're playing Sprite, I can just wait for Gigantic Sprite to hit them. Maxi is gonna be a banger. The sprite with adventure? They're sending a card from their deck to the graveyard? Which one? Nimble Angler? Where did the first Nimble Angler get to the graveyard? The sprite with adventure. Oof. Cross out. Come on, go for searches so I can draw and lock bird. Griffin is a free special. That's true. Hello, Mr. Logs are gonna lurk. Hello, they're lurk. Oh, 
Hmm. That's a lot of nimble beavers. A lot of small dudes. Like the trap tricks insects, they sure are. <gasps> Sprite Blue! Finally, they're searching! I can't believe they did this whole board without searching a single time. This was all just pure gas from the field and graveyard. Like summoning to the field, I mean. That's insane! But at least they can't search out their negates now. Hmm, what are they going to go into? Why jet no search? <laughs> Why jet no search? They didn't even go into IP Mask Arena? That's it? Uh, tribute 1 Dark Monster. Increase the levels of all baby spiders you currently control by level that tribute monster. You can have your life points, banish this card from graveyard, and detach one trophy from a dark exclude monster, then target a dark monster in your graveyard, so will summon it. Damn, I can't do shit with this board. Yeah, where's your mascarina at? Alright. And then I can go into Monk of the Tenyi, but do I have anything good to go into besides these two cards? If I go into Monk and then Crash, I can't really do anything. The other cards are all fucking level 3, so I can't even go into my rank, my extensive rank 4 engine. Do I have a level 7 monster to go into at the very least with all these tuners in hand? No, I don't. I can't go into anything. Best I can do is go into this card and then crash. Because <laughs> this card sucks. Monk of the Tenyi. Black Rose Dragon? Black Rose Dragon might not be half bad. Go into the battle phase. Battle phase. I want to take as little damage as possible. It doesn't matter which one I attack into. Activate Shathana. Special summon. Uh, no, I don't want to use my own card to block my own effect. Destroy card on board. Mmm, they're all dangerous. I think this one is probably... They can just go into another one. And then we destroy this card. Because I have no attack points. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Uh, that's not a generic level 7. Wait, no, there is a good one. That one only works in level 5 or higher effect monsters, though. The one you're, I'm thinking of. Okay. Ash Blossom. Dawn Dragster? Dawn Dragster is pretty good. Water Enchantress of the Temple. <laughs> I'm not sure why Ghost Spell worked. Oh, because it can target Aramisir from the graveyard. All other monsters into attack position. Goyo Guardian. Is there a Goyo rank level 7? 
Is it time to scoop? Not yet. <gasps> Another sprite elf. To bring back sprite blue. Oh crap, this is game. Samurai destroyer. The samurai destroyer would have been good. Because Sprite can't really bounce, they'd have to destroy the card. Although just a single negate would have stopped it. Yeah, it's over. My hand couldn't do anything. There is a card that gives you an additional normal summon on an insect or plant monster. During your main phase, you can normal summon one insect or plant monster in addition to your normal summoner set. When a monster is destroyed by a battle involving this card or a plant monster, it's into the graveyard. You can target one of those destroyed monsters, inflict damage to your equal to attack, and then gain life points equal to damage inflicted. I do play lots of insects. I guess this could work. play trap tricks with this deck. Yeah. The B Trooper links are also good choices. How so? I don't see how they would synergize with this deck even a little bit. Mother Splider Splitter, that can be useful. I have full combo if my opponent doesn't stop my plays. They summon bugs, these creatures are bugs. Uh, they don't summon level five bugs. I see MD doesn't like killing decks, just keep diversity thing, just lessens the consistency of it. What? <gasps> Trap Tricks Garden, to go into Trap Tricks Sarah. This card is Link Summon. Activating Holatia. Special Summon a Trap Tricks monster from your deck. No. Good luck doing your plays without your extender, idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a chill stream. Oof, good play. I wonder what they're going to do next. Since they don't have any plays, but they do have an additional normal summon thanks to their flower garden. Trap Trek's garden. Hey, look. They have Sarah in the artwork. They know what their best card is in the archetype. Trap Trek Sarah carries the archetype so hard it ain't even funny. They're going to use them both to go into Kularia. Funny enough, Kularia only special summons a monster in defense position. So if they bring out Dionia, that doesn't do anything because she's just like... She... Oh, she does set a normal hole card, right? That does give them a hole card. Ooh, amazing. I'm pretty sure they don't have any protection though, right? Nope, no protection. They're going to special summon Sarah from the grave. Okay. Time to crush them with this Harpy's Feather Duster. Good luck getting off your effects without any trap cards on the board. Mother Spider time. Wait, should I go into Shithana first? No, I need to control no monsters. Okay, Tribute Mother Spider Splitter to go into all of the baby spiders. I finally get the little bugs out, the little dudes. Then we tribute one of them. In order to increase the other two levels to 10, then we go into Big Tarantula. Let's 
ravenous tarantula. Then, um, banish this card from graveyard, detach one turn next seize monster, then target one dark monster in your graveyard, spell will summon it. No, I don't want to do that yet. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there, Mr. Logs. Then we go into this card. Pain Gainer. Okay. Once per turn, destroy all face-up monsters. Your opponent controls the defense less than or equal to this cards. Sure, let's do that. Pain Gainer. We'll get Ravenous Spider in the graveyard. I probably should put this card into defense position. Okay, Baby Spider. Gonna pay half my life points in order to detach a material from this card. Then we can bring out this card. All monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the difference between your life points and your opponent's life points. Ooh. Seven sins. And holy stats. Holy cannoli. Um, I could summon this card too. Okay, now it's time for those these spiders to go hard. Um <laughs> There we go. We finally got the spiders to do something. Not bad? Yeah, the spiders are pretty decent. I didn't even need my normal summon for that. I just summoned a monster just because I had a normal summon available, and I was like, might as well, you know? Going second spider? This is a pretty good going second deck, huh? I have to I wonder, is there better ways to use this than what I'm doing? I almost forgot the combo for a second. I was like, wait, what am I doing? Make a rogue hero deck? You mean a hero deck? <laughs> You don't like spiders? They're coarse and go everywhere? Shut up. Okay. Uh-oh. Tear Laments. They're going to use Maxi in relation to that. Are they trying to chain block it? That's funny if they were. The Sprite Tear. <gasps> Supreme C Mare Mare? <laughs> Try chain blocking this. Hopefully they don't have any other plays to do after this. Could you play the Ghost Trick engine in this? Yeah, probably. I have this base for it. That was their whole turn. Oh my god. So cringe. Okay, well, Mother Spider OTK time. Unless they have an Ash Blossom to stop it. <gasps> Two, three. Was one in my hand? Oh yeah, one was in the hand. Okay, then we summon out the three baby spiders. Then we use one baby spider to tribute itself in order to double the levels of the other two baby spiders. Then we use them both to go into a ravenous spider. Okay, then we use these to go into pain gainer. Okay, then we use pain gainer's effect in order to get ravenous spider in the graveyard. Then we use baby spider in the graveyard. In order to select this one, detach a material, special summon ravenous spider back to the board. Okay, then we go into the seven sins for 8,000 points of damage. And then we'll just uh, normal summon maxi for fun. <laughs> Dang, this spider deck completely destroyed this tier limit player. Yeah, 4,500 attack maxi. 
I'm sorry, but spiders are just too good. Holy moly. That was off one card. I had a 4,500 attack maxi. Yeah, and this is why maxi is banned. Exactly. I finally went through every deck. I don't know how I missed these two this whole time. I have two things on here which make me open up a new thing, and I keep missing it every single time. Hello, Dash Ordinary slash Metal, who does this clip? New archetype. Okay. Archetypes to play. What archetype are we playing today? What is Fade? Fade is like a theme deck, which is trying to do something very specific. Christrons? Do I have to play Christrons? <laughs> I don't want to play Christrons. <laughs> Someone phone in hard leg? Yeah, I have to play it. Those are the rules. You know what they are, and so do I. It's not what we're living for. Copy from public deck. A Sewer King Turbo? Really? Yeah, no Halky Fibrax. Grishons can even get into Halk, so no difference. Why is this taking forever? Actually, let me look up a video on this shit. <laughs> Christron uh, uh, deck. <laughs> Why does Christron S S M I G E R show up? Christron deck master duel. Call Hard Lake. Hard Lake's busy on the weekends. Christrons explain. Hate back row and master duel. Play this Christron deck. Okay. I like Christrons a lot, and you probably already know that. I also like playing it in master duel, but I feel like there is way too few people in master duel who actually care about Christrons, so it's pretty hard to find a good Christron deck list to make. I've been experimenting with a ton of different builds. Well, I tried MBT's Scrap never Cyclone busy. combos, MBT's I tried Jax Undyne, I tried Curious Light Swarm combos, I've tried Punk, and even like Tier Elements. But I've settled with this build that also plays the Adventure Engine and the Good Danger Monsters. The glue that ties dangers. everything together in this deck is exactly this card. Historically, even when Hulk is banned, the biggest problem of Christrons is that it loses to a single hand trap. An ash oh. on your scrap recycler often just ends your turn completely. Cherubini sends a level 3 monster as a cost, so not only can your opponent not negate that effect, you also have the option to either access your Christron engine by milling your fist burn, or you can access your adventure engine by milling your water enchantress. Your adventure engine not only gives you a negate before you start committing crystal monsters, they also give you free stuff for your crystal non-tuners to pop, because every crystal non-tuner has an effect to destroy a face-up card to special summon a crystal tuner from deck. Your fateful adventure and your Draco bag <gasps> Hello are there, Emperor perfect Stove. targets for your crystals to pop. Welcome. The dangers also synergize hell. really well in this deck because they're not only consistency tools to discard your Christrons for their grieve out effects, they also are free monsters right for now. both synchro summoning and the most importantly level 3 monsters for Cherubini. This also makes, lets you make Cherubini without even the normal it's summoning, Morbentine. which really helps you play around hand traps. Since we don't have Hulk anymore, the best card we have or our link to is probably Sprite Elf. It can't summon a tuner from deck, but it could summon Citri from the graveyard, and it can activate its effect during both players' turn. So what you can do is you can um, revive you your Citri during your Digimon turn, and then uh, right summon now? Have you tried something it? like is a there really? Christian Quantex. I want to play the Digimon TCG online game. The Digimon game is pretty fun, actually. And then uh, during your opponent's turn, you will summon back your Citri from the graveyard again, and you will actually use do they it. they have gameplay of this? Just, is it just a deck one. profile? Okay, so let's have a look at the replays. Okay, so uh, we are in the replays. 
These replays are taken in Platinum, so they're not too low, so our opponents are actually playing decent decks. And also the Labyrinth cards just came out, so there's going to be a lot of that. Ooh, I love Labyrinth. And yeah, our opponent is going to lead with a Max C, so even if you're going first, we can't really do a lot. You're going to play through Max C? Holy cards, shit, so you're crazy, dude. Summon one Citrian in turn. And thankfully, we whiffed the um, Danger Nessie, so it doesn't summon itself, because that also gives our opponent an extra draw, and that's not very ideal. We're just going to hope Big that our uh, opponent isn't going to just win on turn two. And wow, they did thankfully they're not, they're playing turn. Labyrinth, so they're just going to set a bunch of cards and pass. Like during our turn, we're going to activate Smiger to get a spell trap, but he is going to activate a trap to negate that. Ooh, that's good news, because hole. that means he, like he doesn't Grave have a Grave Digger for uh, Soul of Nier, and that's the card that we actually want to resolve. We're going to activate Jackalope, and we hit it again. That is not ideal, but at least we get two level 3 monsters to make uh, Cherubini. Cherubini. And Cherubini is going to mail out Water Enchantress. Water Enchantress will activate her effect to give us access to the entire adventure engine. Wait, Cherubini. Right this card is not only good. Oh my god, guys. I just had the best idea ever. <laughs> I can't remember the name of this card. It's a level one. I think. Hmm. I think it's level one and also a reptile. Reptilian Servant. Destroy this card if there are face-up monsters on the field other than this card. Destroy this card when it is targeted by the effect of a spell or trap card. Neither player can normal summon a monster while this card is face-up on the field. If you just have this under a Cherubini, right? Cherubini. Cheru. I know it's a Burning Abyss. We'll just type that in. Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss. That was used with Branded Expulsion. Was it? That's a good idea. Monsters as card points too cannot be destroyed by card effects. And then we also have Aurora. Draco Aurora Utopian. Aurora. Aurora. Aurora Paragon. Neither player can spell summon. When other monsters normal summoned to either field, destroy this card. If you just have Cherubini pointing to these two cards. <gasps> How do you spell Cherubini? Chair. Just wow. I know, right? Chair. Ooh, beanie. Floodgate. I'll have to cook this up later. Christron, who are coming back to Christrons. You guys are so impatient. As part of the adventure engine, it's also good just as a free token for you to synchro summon. But in this situation, we are going to just use it as monster. a monster field oh, yeah, to it's enable a counter card, isn't it? He is going to activate his labyrinth card effects and do a whole bunch of Welcome labyrinth, labyrinth stuff. But um, most importantly, we're just going to bounce that specific back row because that back row can be activated that turn and the welcome labyrinth cannot. So we're going to bounce that first, Rider. and then we're going to finally discard our Self of Nier to summon the Griffin Rider, and then our Self of Nier will activate its effect in the graveyard to summon Horror itself, Sword and we Turtle. are going to make Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf will activate its effect to summon back the Turtle, the Turtle activates its effect, and now we are Machine Locked. When we activate the effect of any crystal non-shooters to summon a shooter from the deck, this locks us into Machine-type Synchro Monsters, so we cannot make our links. Uh -oh. After we use that effect, so that's why we need to use. Uh, we have to make elf before we use the turtle's effect. He's going to Nibiru. That's it's a fine. Good thing they we have, have the engine Griffin Rider exactly for, for this that. reason. And uh, we're going to pass him with two tuners on field. That is pretty good, even though it might not look like it. This actually gives us a lot of flexibility and interaction during a dare turn. And now that we're, we're, we're we know that they're playing a back row deck, our goal is to make exactly Christian Phoenix because that card is really, really nuts against Labyrinth, back row decks. It banishes all back row 
on both their field and their graveyard. So our entire aim is to maxi. make that card. Our opponent unfortunately has a maxi, and um, it really sucks that they activate. Wait, they bring back during water enchantress? Their own turn because we are going to summon a whole bunch of monsters in their Howard turn. Howard and Zectron? I haven't so seen that card in forever. A whole bunch of draws, but we can at least activate Ryan before the maxi resolves. So he gets two less draws, but we will still give him a lot of draws with the Sishi effect and the uh, Quan What cards are they going into? We're going to make the level 5 Synchro, grabbing back the Smacker for next turn. And now we have 5 plus 4, making the best card against the back row Phoenix. in our extra deck. Crystal Phoenix will activate its effect. Banish all your opponent's and back this row banishes cards. all back row in both his fields and his graveyard. He has to activate Big Mogul's Labyrinth now, otherwise it's, it's all going to be gone. That's just Ooh. really satisfying. Uh, but since he has Maxi, he still has a couple of cards in his hand, and this means he can still Another set a couple welcome. of traps before he ends his turn. So he's, he still has some back row for us to contend with, but uh, this should be fine. Torby and Ku Klok to set and, uh, a big at least we welcome. know that these two set back row, one is big welcome and the other one is the normal welcome. And because he attacked our Christian Phoenix, we can summon back the Quandax, and Quandax is not one for turn. Ooh, all. Satellite so Warrior, that's again, another 2 And this time we're gonna make Satellite Warrior pop 3, <gasps> three cards pop. because we have um, 3 secret monsters in our, ex in our graveyard. And we cannot oh. pop, we cannot target our opponent's Lady Labyrinth because it prevents itself from being targeted. During the draw phase, he is going to bounce back to Sprite Elf before we enter our main phase to prevent our, our quick effect. 5,500 points Satellite but, um, Warrior. We should be able to win this turn, even though uh, we might not look like we have enough relief for we have a ton of brave artifacts for you us love this to guy, activate. But you've heard when he wasn't using his real voice? What was his other videos like? Enchantress that we shuffled like? back with Brown, and then discard itself. And then Enchantress will grab us a Aramisir. We're gonna summon back the self of Nier, pop itself, activate its effect, summon a Citri. We're gonna turn this deck has to try to so hard to do this basic hand, plays. Grab Aramisir, summon a level 4, 5 plus 4 plus 2, and that makes our big boy Shrishula. <gasps> Shrishula has a non-targeting effect, so that we'll be able to banish Whoa. our uh, Lady Labyrinth. And Trish plus a 5500 Satellite Warrior it will be He used an AI voice? Oh, okay. Okay, this is our next game, and we're going second. This is not very ideal. But we do have Maxi, and we have Ash, so... I think we might be able to at least play the game. And they're not even going to summon anything. They're just going to set turn and pass. It's probably another Lambert player, I'm guessing. I am at 1.25 right now. Activate our Faithful Adventure directly from hand. As, um, Ash Blossom. He is going Oops. to Ash our Faithful Adventure. That's fine. Because we have tons of ways to get into our combo. And also, Adventure. The, the Adventure stuff isn't our mainline combo anyway, so it's fine if that gets negated. At least we will be able to summon the Jackalow plus a Cherubini. Uh, Fisburn. That's two level threes, which makes it Cherubini. And, um,. We're gonna activate the graveyard effect of our uh, fist burn to grab our uh, self of near, and now that we have self of near, we could finally activate fateful adventure to discard our uh, self of near. Uh oh, punishment! He is going to punishment before we summon the griffin rider, so we can't negate the punishment, but that's fine. He's going to pitch one of the branded fusion the monsters. Oh, the branded fusion. Okay, one thing you need to remember is don't summon self of near in the zone that Cherubini points to, because Cherubini prevents your monsters from being destroyed by card effects. And that is a mandatory, so that does prevent self of near from destroying itself. But you don't want that, you want to destroy yourself, so be careful. Don't summon self of near in a Cherubini zone. Anyway, Corn we're gonna make for L, thank you, Synchro. And then we're gonna uh, smagger for a crystal on impact, set impact, and end turn. Offering is going to, during the main phase, activate a Ku Clock. A Ku we're gonna Clock. activate Sprite Elf as soon as possible to summon back the Citri to make a Synchro during their turn. We're gonna, since we know that they're playing D uh, Labyrinth, Barrier, we're going to Synchro attempt to make selected. a Dawn Jaxter to negate their back row, but they have D Barrier. That's fine, we still are able to summon a monster from Graveyard, even though we can't make a Synchro monster with that. They're going to use their entire hand to make a Welcome Labyrinth, and thankfully we have Ash in our hands. Whoa. And GG's, that's game. I wonder why everybody's playing Labyrinth, even though Tyr is still the best deck. Okay, in our third game, we we're actually going first. Do you think and still we like have the No, but unfortunately, we did open with a Griffin Rider. So um, we're gonna summon Griffin Rider as soon as possible. So if he has something, 
if, if he hasn't had if he has a hand trap we could negate it as soon as possible Ooh. and um we're going to just do the adventure line grabbing a copy of water enchantress and we're discarding the the equip and the water enchantress is a level three and it also can special summon itself so that means we can make a trophy. I didn't know that. We make the stats, activate its effect to mill a fist firm, and give because us access to Because people are tired of tier, people are tired of winning, you mean? Deck. We don't actually have a card for uh, Soul of Fear to discard, so instead we're just going to grab Turtle and just normal summon our Turtle. We'll do that, summon a Spider Elf, protecting <sighs> our Griffin Rider. We're going to revive the Turtle, Turtle effect, to summon Citri, and now we're Machine Synchro Lock. We're gonna grab a Aramisir for next turn, just as a free monster, I guess. We're gonna make Quandax in a Quandax. health zone and pass turn. We have one negate, one synchro summon. Actually, two synchro summons because we have um, Elf. And we have Maxi and Ash in hand. He is going to, for some reason, in perm during the main phase, which allows us to activate Elf's effect <laughs> as a chain. And he activates Called by to banish the Citri, which I really don't want, so we're gonna negate that with um, Griffin Rider. He's going to negate our elf, so that's fine. He's playing a live twin. <gasps> the live yeah, twin. probably playing the sprite card as well. Oh my so god, they try cross to out. Maxi. He will be activating his cross out to negate our Maxi, but that should be Full okay. Full combo, but they still have Quandra. He's going to summon, uh, summon the Kizuko from hand. Oh my god. Maybe he just yeah, got and unlucky and in turbo. Um, he's going to jet, we're going to ash his jet. He is going to make a copy of a uh, gigantic sprite, but that's fine. Gigantic sprite doesn't activate on summon, it needs to start a new chain. So, right after he uh, summons his uh, Xyz, we're going to make a level 5 synchro. We're going to make um, Soul Master Musashi <laughs> to grab back a card to our hand for next turn. We're gonna and then we're going to activate Quandax effect to summon Their effects are a copy so quick. of the Navy Dragon Neck. And uh, discard when Ooh, summoned maybe can argument. negate cards up to the number of tutors on our graveyard. So we will negate both his monsters. He will attempt to activate his Xyz, which won't do anything. He's gonna make downward, but can't make Zeus because his Xyz are in our defense position. And he didn't attack with that, so he can't really make Zeus. So uh, the best he can do is just make his evil twins. Wait, how do they have the new art for it? But I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, it must a lot. be a mod. Because he also doesn't have any other cards in his hand apart from that single draw. And uh, he's going to end on a single Kissa Kill and a set card. That should be okay. We still have our Elf on field, which is really helpful. So we will activate that effect. We're actually going to revive the Cherubini because we still don't have access to self here. So we're going to summon the Cherubini, and the Cherubini will mill us the Fizzburn, and the Fizzburn will grab us the self of Mirror. He is going to Smashers, but that's fine. He's not banishing our uh, Cherubini for some reason. He's going to get rid of our Navy plus our Elf. That means we still have our uh, Cherubini on field to actually mill the Fizzburn from our deck. We're gonna do that. He's going to summon back the Kissy Killer to draw a card. We will not let him draw because Dang, we have an Ash, so why not? Blossom. We're gonna stop him from gaining more card advantage. We're gonna stop him from getting into a position of winning. So we're gonna add the uh, Stuff of Fear to our hand. We're gonna use Faithful Adventure to discard the Stuff of Fear and add the Griffin Rider. We summon the Stuff of Fear, pop Stuff of Fear, Stuff of Fear effect. Summon the Rose Nix, Rose Nix pop Faithful Adventure to summon the Rion. We're gonna, on battle phase, attack both of his evil twins. And I forgot to activate, I forgot to um, summon Rion, so I guess. The uh -oh. I, I forgot to attack with Rion. But anyway, we still have a Don Draxter for a spawn trap negate and a Griffin Rider for just a Nomni negate. And with one card in his hand, he is going to scoop. At least he tried his best. I think I know how this deck works. Priest drawn. Oh crap. If I type in Chris drawn, there's a chance they might just have Chris drawn Hucky Fibrex. Blogs can do it better. I don't even know what the cards do. Yeah, I need to type in a specific Christron's name. The problem is I don't know any of the Christron names.
Christron. Cry. How is Christron not in the list? It's an archetype. A, B, C, Christron, Christron. It's not on the list. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's capitalized? Oh, there it is. Just search for creatine? No. Okay, maybe I will. How do you spell creatine? C tree? Creatine? Oh my god, why are they playing it with... <gasps> this looks like the deck I saw. Ooh, I could play Therion King Regulus with this deck. Mmm, like a Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, huh? Is this a punk engine? Can you play punks with it? How does this deck work? So why is it playing this card? Oh, because it returns to your hand. Hmm, I don't know how this deck works, but it has the punk engine in it, which appeals to me. The punk engine to go into a rank eight, a level eight, and then another level eight on the board, and then they could use those to go into one of the level threes. Three plus eight is 11 for the big boss monster. How does this one work? Can someone explain to me how this one works? You can also play the scrap engine. The scrap engine takes your normal summon though. Hmm. I have no idea how this deck works. This one has a scrap engine in it. The scrap engine is so bricky though. Yep, those are the cards all right. What you do is you use Fossil Dig to search out Scrap Raptor, then use Scrap Raptor to search out Recycler, then use extra normal summon to special summon to normal summons ra uh, Recycler, then use Recycler to send Rosenix to the graveyard, then use Rosenix to summon a token, then use the two of them to go into Chimera, then use Chimera to bring out Fridge, then use Fridge in order to bring back Scribe Recycler and mill another card. Then you use the three of them to go into Curious in order to mill any card from your deck. And then you can just go from there. The way to think. I don't know, the Scrap Engine seems like it would work really well in this deck. Where is Curious? In your butt. <laughs> There's Fridge. There's Scrap Recycler, which is already in the deck. Neat. Okay, and then what we need is Fossil Dig. Fossil Dig. Why is it playing Jam Extreme and Life Extreme and Arc Fiend Staff? Oh, I know why it's doing all that. Curious. And we should also play Cherubini. How the fuck do you spell Cherubini? Cherry. Beanie. There's Cherubini. Oh, we need the Adventure Engine too. Adventure is one Griffin Rider, two Aramisiers, one Draco Back, one Fateful. Actually, I want another Griffin Rider. How do you even spell it wrong? Shut up, I'm a genius. You guys just don't understand how the economy works. How do I get more copies of tuning? Is it from a structure deck? It's from Stardust Ties? 
Am I seriously gonna have to craft three tunings? Bro, this is gonna be a full 60 card deck. This is gonna be a 60 card deck. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a 60 card deck. Why would it not be a 60 card deck? Logs, can you give me your royal tuning? What royal tuning? I don't even have a fucking tuning. Hmm. Needs grass? This deck does not need grass. It doesn't benefit from grass in any way. What other targets for tuning are there? I can just remove tuning. I don't need tuning. Wait, tuning can also search out Jet Synchro. I don't need tuning. There we go. Okay, what other cards can I remove from this deck? Do I need Changing? Do I need two copies of Power Tool Braver Dragon? No. Do I need Punk Jam Session? No. Do I need to mill a bunch of cards? Should I play the Zombie Vampire? No, I think they go into Dragon Drive. They just go into other level 8s, and then they do stuff from there. Okay, um, I need to learn how to play this deck. I need to practice against solo mode bosses. Should I get rid of the Amazing Punk? Yeah, let's get rid of this card. Um, this is Christron, uh Punk. Scrap. Oh, adventure, adventure, pile. Okay. There's a wave room with all the Christron trap. Christron trap. Is it Christron trap? <gasps> How come I can't play Hockey Fibrax? Target one of your banished Christron monsters, but we'll summon it. And if you do, sure, let's play it. I need to remove a card for it though. Which card can I remove, chat? I probably don't need Wagon. Oh, I definitely don't need this one. Both Tristron's craps are good. I don't want to read them. I'll play them if you tell them to me. If you tell me to, I mean, excuse me, not tell them to me. I need to remove one more card. This deck is already kind of packed with incredibly useful cards that I can't get rid of. <gasps> I can get rid of Wagon. I don't need it. I can play three Noor. Wagon just searches out Jam Extreme Session, but I can't really do anything else. Jam Extreme Session is just something I kind of have to hard draw into. So let's just get rid of it. All right, batch of generate cards not owned. You also need to play two Psy Frames. No, I don't. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Those who stand against kings. Why do they stand against kings again? Cards included in this pack. I already have all of them. Wait, why does this pack contain so many cards? Secret pack. Those who stand against kings. Oh. So this is the Zodiac pack too, huh? And Metal Foes. Hmm. Okay, what else did I need to add to the deck? I forgot. You literally just use entire graveyard effects to modify levels. Called related war. I need to read what these cards do. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can special summon one non-tuner monster from your hand, but if it has effects, negate, if any. And if you do, immediately the effect resolve, synchro summon one machine type synchro monster using only that monster and this card. Okay. That's level one. Key tree. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can target one non-tuner monster in your graveyard, so I'll summon it, but if it has an effect, they're negated. Immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summoned one machine type Synchro monster using only that monster and this card. These Synchro monsters are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. 
Thurston. You can target one face-up card you control. You cannot spell summon from the extra deck except for machine type synchro monsters. Also destroy that card. And if you do, spell summon one Christron tuner from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add a Christron monster from your deck to your hand, except Christron Thistern. Thistfern. Hmm. Rion, during your opponent's main battle phase, target one of your banished non-tuner monsters, special summon it, but if it has any effects, they're negated. Immediately, after select resolve, synchro summon one synchro monster using those cards. These synchro materials are shuffled into the deck instead of being sent to the graveyard. Okay, so that's how you reset Water Enchantress. What does Rose Nix do on the field? You can target one face-up card you control. You cannot spell to summon for an extra rest of this turn, except machine type synchro monsters also destroy that card. And if you do, spell to summon a Christron tuner from your deck. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, discard one Christron card, except Christron Slufanir. Spell will summon this card in defense position. Then destroy one card. If this card in the field is destroyed by battle or card effects, spell summon one Christron monster from your deck in defense position. Wait, are we missing a Christron monster? Oh, we're missing two of them. Christron Tiger. You can target one face-up card you control. You cannot special summon monsters from extra the rest of this turn, except for machine-type synchro monsters. Also destroy that card. And if you do, special summon a Christron Tuner from your deck. Oh, that sounds good. Can a Despot deck be competitive? Yeah. Krita's bot is lying to you. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Christron spell trap card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. That seems pretty good. Target one face up card you control. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except machine type synchro monsters. Also destroy that card. And if you do, special summon a Christron tuner from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon a Christron monster from your hand. Parasortal. You probably don't need Parasortal. All Christron monsters gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can draw cards equal to number of Christron synchro monsters you synchro summon this turn. Ooh. That seems useful. I need to get rid of one card. Quan, probably. Christron Punk Scrap Adventure Pile. Mate Space, three main cards. Christron Punk Adventure. Howdy, Mr. Log. Howdy. How's it crack a lacking? Okay, let's go to the solo mode. I'm gonna go to my favorite target dummy. The danger files. Play. Going first. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm chilling in this chill stream. Why, thank you. I hope you have a very chill day. Scrap Raptor. Destroy Scrap Raptor. Search out Scrap Recycler. Use Scrap Recycler. Send Rosenix to the graveyard. Use Rosenix in the graveyard. Bring out a token. Crap, I need another card in the field. 
Oh no, I should have went in for the punk engine. I forgot. <laughs> no, I need at least one other car in the field to do this. Oh no. I made a mistake. Oh no, I can't do this. Okay, scrap Wavern. And then we use scrap Raven, target a scrap monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And then destroy a card. Should send Sulfner? Probably. I messed up. I could have just went for the punk engine instead. Select a card to summon Golem. And destroy Scrap Wavering because I'm stupid and I don't have any other cards on the board. Then we can use this to bring out Scrap Recycler to your side of the field to bring it back. And then we can use this card in order to send. You said you should send Sulfner? Is this this card right here? Yes, yeah, Sulfner. Then we can use Sulfnair from the graveyard, because I think it searches the card in your hand to bring it back, and then destroy itself, and then use its effect to special summon from the deck, and then I can create out any card I want. Which one do I want? I have a level 3 and a level 5, so if I go into this one, I can go into level 6 or level 4. Um, how many of these are tuners? I, only two of them are tuners, the rest are non-tuners? Seriously? Oh, Rion's level 3. That can go into level 8 or level 6. I think Rion's probably the best one. Okay. Then we can go into Psychic and Dragon. Two level 3 monsters. Oh, I can go into Cherubini. And then I can go into the Adventure Engine. Wait, how come I can't go into my level 8? Oh, is this because it's a punk only card? I can go into Arisen, but I don't have any water monsters in the Oh, I do have a water monster in the grave. I'm gonna go into Cherubini. Prequan and Rion are all the tuners. What level? Let's see. So there's a level of one, two, and three. Okay, okay. All right, and then we use this card in order to send Water Enchantress to the grave. Select one monster, increase its stats. Then, wait, what does this one do? You can banish this card from your graveyard, add a Christian monster from your deck to your hand. Wait, what? Do any of these special summon from the hand? You can special this monster from actually for this turn. Also destroy the card. And if you use special one Christian tuner monster from your deck. Because you use a normal summon off a of Raptor's effect. Oh yeah, you're right. This card is in your hand. You can discard one Christian card. Special summon this card in defense position. All this is from the hand or grave. I already used the effect this turn, so I probably can't use it again this turn. Hmm, I already used my normal summon, all these cards. The adventure engine locked? Yeah, yeah. I'm just playing a whole bunch of engines, and like, the scrap engine fundamentally just doesn't work with all the other stuff I'm doing. Okay, RMS year. Alright, let's try again. It's a good thing my opponent was waiting for me. Also, I can't even do the scrap engine if my field is full, but the scrap engine gets so many cards to the graveyard, though. I can win, like, three specific mo machines. Lost to the CPU? You know it. Okay, I'll bring out Griffin Rider. Then we can bring out Sulfnir, discarding Quan. Destroy Sulfnir. Special summon out... The level 3 tuner, which is... Rion. Why do I only play one Rion? Rion seems to be the best. Let's see, if I go into level 2, I can go into Power Tool Braver Dragon. If I go into level 1, I can go into a level 8 monster. Hmm... If I go into Rion, I can go into Baron de Fleur. Do these cards have any, like, graveyard effects, though? I feel like I'm playing this wrong. Power Tool Braver Dragon. <gasps> Select another card. Yeah. No applicable card in the deck. Whatever. Okay, and then we just pass. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to playing the Rod of Silence. Foolish Burial. No. <laughs> Why are you playing Braver Dragon for those with those equip spells? I don't know. I should probably remove them. Aw, oh, Danger Mothman. They give Braver an animation, right? 
I think it's just because Braver is just another machine synchro, but I don't need it. I should remove it to get rid of some of the bricks. If I remove that, I could also probably just remove the scrap engine entirely. I don't think I need it. Using those two to go into Dugare's. Good night, Mr. Logs. Good night, Mr. Logs. Send this one to the grave. Target this. I mean, I guess Braver Dragon does give me a negate, though. Change the battle position of the card. No, negate it. And then this card comes back for a free negate every turn. Braver without smoke grenades seems sus. Yeah, right. That's what I was thinking. Oh my god, they went into Nightmare Cerberus and popped it. <laughs> and now you have no follow-up next turn. <laughs> Quan, uh, I can do this. Special summon, blow up. Use its effect in order to special one of these cards from the graveyard. Wait, wait, wait. doesn't one of these have like a decent effect? Target one face of card you control. Cancel all summons this turn. Also destroy the cards. Put summon a tuner from your graveyard. Banish this card from your graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add a Christian monster from your deck to your hand. I'll go to this one. Because I can equip it with this, and then I can use its effect to destroy this. To bring out a tuner from the deck, and then use its effect to come back. Dang, this card is putting in work right now. Holy moly. Hey, logs. First time watching you. Hello there. First time watching me. How come I don't have the adventure engine? Did I hand bone it somehow? Maybe to watch the video for a refresher? No, I know what I'm doing. Just I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'll be right back. Hey, it's me. I'm the Duologs. I'm a psychic spider from outer space. From Earth. Earth. That's not Jupiter in the background. Anyone who says Jupiter in chat will be banned. Anyways, um, you're watching this probably because I'm on break. So, let's let's get started with the ad. Today's ad is, um, um, let's see, we already did one about Twitch, uh, Prime and, and subs and stuff. Oh, um, are, are you, are you tired all the time? Are you a tired boy? Or girl? Most of my audience is men. Uh, did you guys know that that caffeine in your body lasts for up to 10 hours, sometimes even longer? So if you drink something after noon, Chances are you still have caffeine in your body if you're trying to go to sleep at night. So that, that, that could be keeping you awake. If you drink lots of caffeine, that's um, probably why you can't sleep. I know lots of you guys don't sleep because I stream really late at night. Another one is, uh, did you know people go to bed and then they, they stay awake for a long time before sleeping? Sometimes you can stay up for like over an hour. Not me, I, stay, I go to sleep like in five minutes. Like I just pass right out every day. But if, if you do, um, you have to make sure to account that in your, your sleep schedule. Like, if you have to sleep eight hours and wake up the next day, maybe go to sleep a little bit earlier. Also, did you know if you if you play video games before going to bed, that can keep your mind active and keep you awake even longer. Find an activity to do to um, to wind down your brain. Or a video game that doesn't require too much brain power, so Yu-Gi-Oh's fine. Also, exercise. If you, if you exercise, you'll actually just be more, more rested at night for some reason. I don't know, I think it's something about working out your body. It gets tired, so you actually want to sleep at night. Um, also, eat less junk food. Eat real foods, because you have actual nutrition in your body. Junk food just make you feel bad. And uh, last tip: if if you have a if you if you if you're a mouth breather, that's bad. You can breathe better with, with your nose. So if you can't breathe through your nose, get nose strips. And there you go. Th those are tips for um, getting good good sleep. Until next time. Hello, it's me, the Duologs. I'm a spider from the moon. This is a public service announcement in order to address some slander I've been seeing in chat. Uh, I've seen lots of people say that I'm from Jupiter, which is not true. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let, let's go into this this ad, because I'm probably playing this while I'm gone. Um, how to make friends. I, I get this one a lot in chat. You know, those people say, hey, the Duologs, I, um, I don't have any friends. How do I make friends? And I say, well, why are you asking me? Like, I play 
I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh for a living. You think I have friends? So anyways, let's go over some tips on, on how to make friends. Now, fir first step, the number one step, be the initiator. Don't wait for people to contact you. Have you ever watched um, a TV show or an anime where the main character is some dweeb, some, some loser, some absolute just uh, nobody who does nothing? He has no skills, and yet he gets all the, these friends and things. You know, usually what happens is that other people reach out to him, and he doesn't have to do anything. Don't be that person. Be the side character. Be the side person who reaches out to, to the main character and forces them in all those adventures. That, that's how you do it. Waiting for things to happen is guaranteeing that they won't. Unless you get lucky. And you probably won't. Um, also, when you, when you talk to people, don't look for the right things to say. Just say what you like or dislike. I know this will cause you to have friction. Maybe make some people not like you as much if they find out what you like or dislike. But it makes you feel like a more real person. And real people are more, um, they're, they're worth sticking around. Now, you'll find people who, who like the things you do. And you can avoid the people who don't dislike, who, who like the things you dislike. Easy peasy. Um, also, don't complain about everything. That's a drag. <laughs> don't go too far in the other direction. It, it, nobody wants to be around someone who's just, every conversation is just an open, uh, an open uh, complaint about something or, or someone else. Also, if, if you don't have any conversational skills, here's the tip. The number one tip for creating a good conversation from scratch, if you don't really know anything about the other person, ask them about their week. Not their day. Not how they're doing. Not how they're feeling. Ask them about their week. It gives them a, a bigger chance, bigger time frame to work with. They can think of something interesting to talk about, or not. You can talk about your week, if they don't say anything. But don't ask them about their day. Don't ask them how they're feeling. That's dumb. Um, also, uh, having things in common and overrated. You don't need to make friends with only people who share your hobbies. And if you can't find anyone who shares your hobbies, maybe you're not looking in the right places. Okay, this is my public service announcement. Stop spamming Jupiter and chat. You'll be banned. Hey, it's me, the Duologues. You're probably watching this because we have an ad because I'm gone for something. Anyways, today, what we'll be discussing. Something very important to all of you people. Are you too nice? Is it possible to be too nice to people? Oh, I forgot to turn down the sound. Okay, oh look! I have full scrap combo and this time I have a card to set on the field. Jupiter? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Scrap Raptor, Scrap Raptor, search out Scrap Recycler. Use Scrap Recycler to send Rosenix to the grave. Use Rosenix to special summon a token usage 0.001%. <laughs> the Scrap Wavern. Okay, Scrap Wavern activates its effect to target a scrap monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and then immediately destroy it, which will trigger Scrap Wavern's second effect in order to special summon the refrigerator from the deck, then destroy the card of the board, then use refrigerator in order to bring back Scrap Recycler to your side of the field in order to get another machine monster in the graveyard. This time we'll be sending Sulfner. Then we use all three of these to go into Curious to send another one to the graveyard. This time we'll send... I could send Jet Synchron. I can send any deck for my... I think Jet Synchron's probably a good idea. Okay, we milled three. What do we mill? Oh, we milled more graveyard effects. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Add a Christron monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, and then we can add Quan. Did I use my normal summon yet? I think I did. Then we can use Sulfner in order to send one of these cards to the graveyard. And then pop it. And special summon another one from the deck. Uh, oh, I could just bring out another copy. Let's see. What do I have banished right now? I want to reset one of these cards. The level 3s, level 2s. Um, 
During your opponent's main phase, you can target one non-tuner monster in your graveyard. Special summon, but its effects are negated. Also, immediately effects resolve. Special summon. Do I have a level 8 monster in the graveyard? I have a level 5, which is a level 7. Which does nothing. Wait, one second. I heard what sound like a dog whining, but I was like, well, there's no dogs in the house. <laughs> hmm. Level seven, level three. Um, oh yeah, because there was like, um, fireworks going off. So I wanted to go check that. And I was like, there's no dogs in the house. And then I remembered, hey, I need to um, feed the fish. Because I forgot. <gasps> Christron Jet Synchron. A ghost dog? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The fish were whining? Yeah, exactly. The dangers. Okay, I don't know how to play this deck. <laughs> I'm so bad at this deck. How did the other guy get so many cards off? I don't get it. Creatine. Okay, and then we go into this card. Amateur X. Look at all those tuners. I have so many cards and nothing to do with any of them. I probably don't need the scrap engine. I should most likely get... Did I forget to add emergency teleport to the deck? Maybe it's just built different. If the synchro summon card is sent to the graveyard, select a card in your graveyard. Ooh, we can go into Quan. No, crap. Quan summons from the hand. Quan is useless. Why do I have so many Quans in this deck? Dugar is. Oh my god, it's the dual logs. Nuh uh. Because this deck was good. Shut up. I'm taking a look at his deck list right now while my opponent dismantles my weak ass board. Technically, I could play um, a small little dinosaur engine. Just a small little dinosaur engine. You wouldn't even notice it. I like Christron. Select a card. Wait, what does this effect do? <laughs> and add it to your hand? Okay. Add one card to my hand. Gotcha. This one, I guess. And then I can use the effect in order to synchro summon into the powered Exectron. Let me take a look at their deck. They have. They don't even. No, they play two Quans. Why does my deck have three Quans? Quan sucks. Blackluster Soldier. The Wrist Van. Banish this card, add a Christron spell trap from your deck to your hand. Okay. 
Little summon two Crystal Tuners, one from your hand and one from your graveyard. During either player's turn, except to turn this card into the graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard, target one Crystal Monster. You control send one Crystal Monster from your deck to the graveyard whose level is different, and if you do, that monster's level becomes a sent monster's level. And if you do, your opponent controls any face up monsters, change defense to zero. During either player's turn, except the turn this card sent to the graveyard, when a card effect is activated that targets a Christian monster you control, you can banish this card from your graveyard and negate that effect. Ooh, that seems pretty good. You forgot he existed? Me too. Okay, Assault Synchron. Then we normal summon Thrist Ven. <gasps> this card has an effect. Target one face up card you control. You cannot spell from Ruthless Turn. Also destroy that monster. Then spell will summon one Christian tuner from your deck. Face-up card, huh? Whatever, I'm going for it. Who needs this? I can just get another tuner from the deck. <gasps> A level 3 for another level 6, but I can't do anything. Ooh, Power Tool Braver Dragon. Now I can do something. I have no idea what I'm doing. Another card? Another card? I probably shouldn't equip, uh... Try to go back. Um, activate Arcfiend Staff to lower the attack of my opponent's monsters. Then use this card to pitch impact to the grave. Bring it out. Select a card to destroy this one. Activate its effect. Yes. Special summon Quan to the field. Then use them to go into Quandrax. Where's Axe of Despair in your butt? Okay, during your main phase, send one equip scuttle, then target effect monster on the field. What does this one do? Equip only battles a monster once per turn. If a monster battle position change, you can target one card in the field, destroy it. If this card is sent to the graveyard in the spell trap card zone, tribute one power tool synchro monster, spell to some live stream monster from your deck. I'm not doing that. Dang, this thing is a powerhouse. Didn't they make BLS at a level 8? Yeah, but my cards don't target. You absolute buffoon! What are they going into? Danger! Bigfoot! Is this a tuner? It is a tuner. It is the end of the main phase. Activate the effect of a card. Is this effect main phase only? Uh, Might as well. Send a card to the graveyard. Change the battle position, activate both cards, and destroy this one, and activate Arcfiend Staff to return back to my hand. Dang, this is overpowered. I can't believe Arcfiend Staff of Despair is so broken with Power Tool Braver Dragon. Wandering Griffin Rider, activate Staff. Ooh, banish this card from your graveyard. Add a card from your deck to your hand. Uh, Sulfnir. Okay, then I can normal summon Sulfnir if I wanted to. Um, I can change his battle position and attack over it. Why am I thinking so hard versus a gosh darn bot? Okay, life extreme. Pop it. Get back Arcfiend Snaff of Despair. Wow, this card is pure advantage. Imagine if Elba was Eagle, right? This card is basically a hard once per turn version of Elma. Life points have been reduced to zero. I'm trying to go back. I need to adjust this deck a little bit to make it less garbage. Okay, so what I found out was the scrap engine is awful. Well, not awful. I just kind of need my normal summon. Uh, what else is in the scrapped engine? Fossil dig. All right, and that frees up some extra deck space. Do I have more Cherubinis? I think I do. Oh, I can go into the big Trishula. 
Okay, now what? Add the tenies? Shut up! Oh my god. We want Chaos Ruler. I should just do the Chaos Ruler zombie vampire thing. I don't know why I'm being so resistant to it. There's so many graveyard effects with this. So, Chaos Ruler. And the zombie vampire. Where is the zombie vampire at? You know you want the tenies? The tenies literally do nothing for the deck. You guys are so dumb, I swear. Okay, they'll remove these cards. Alright, and now we're down to 48 cards. It's no longer Christian Punk Scrap Adventure Pile. Because there's no longer any scraps in here. It's no longer a pile deck because it's not 60 cards. Christian Punk Adventure. Okay, so Rion. I don't really see how Salt Synchron makes the deck better. I don't think I need it at all. Although it does combo with Chaos Ruler pretty well. Hmm... One tuner synchro monster plus one or more non tuner synchro monsters. If this card is synchro summoned, you can banish all spell traps in your opponent's graveyard and they control. Quandrax. Two or more tuners plus one or more non tuner monsters. Okay. I think we're good to go. 48 cards is good enough. Let's go into the ladder and try it out. No more spider deck, because we're playing Christron Punk Adventure. <laughs> Stim sent me a meme. It was from the Barbie movie. It was talking about Ken. He's like, how do you get into character, Ken? He goes, I do it by wearing two glasses. Because if Barbie ever needs glasses, I can give her one of my pairs. And the other pair is mirrored. So they can't see into my eyes to see my sadness. And if she ever needs to do her makeup, she can use my mirror glasses to do it. <laughs> While not being able to look into my eyes and see how sad I am. I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. <gasps> oh my god! Gene Raiders? <sighs> They're gonna activate Gene Raider boss battle? Time to activate Max C, which is in 88.7% of decks. Somewhere in the distance I hear the leg screaming, whether it's joy or anger is up for the debate. You think Hard Leg likes this game? Come on, give me more draws. These these this this deck, I mean. Dang, they all have a lot of attack points. Anyway. Water Enchantress. Response. <gasps> Artemis here. Did I get two draws off of that? I think I did. Draw and Lockbird. I need to be able to search. You bitch. Now I can't get Griffin Rider. Tribute, special summon. Yeah, we can't let them do that. Damn droll. I need my cards to do things. I need to search. Aramasir. Place a card face up in your spell and trap card zone. Yes. But I can't use it. However, I can use Draco back the rideable, breedable dragon. No, if I use the rideable, breedable dragon, I can just bounce one of the cards. But I don't need to bounce any of these cards. You can lose effect once per turn. The Gene Raider Loptar. I can bring out Rion, which is a level 3 2, and I can go to level 7 monster. I can go into this card in order to pop Fateful Adventure. And then what? Spell just summon a Christian Tuner from your deck? What do I want to go into? I don't know my combos. <laughs> if I bring out a tuner from the deck, there's a level 7, a level 3. If I bring out a level 2, I can go into... Um, Trishula. And then what? 
I don't know. Just wing it? I'm trying my best. I can't do Trishula because all my other cards are like... Okay, and then we use Draco back, the breedable, rideable dragon, to bounce this card back to their hand. Okay, and then... How come I can't use its effect? Target one face of card you control, you cannot spell someone for the rest of this turn. And destroy the card, then spell someone a crystal on tuner monster from your deck. How come I can't use it? What the hell? What? Droll? It summons it from the deck! It doesn't search! Give a card... Use you for the rest of this turn. Cards cannot be added from either player's main deck to the hand. Right of Arm is here. Oh yeah! I forgot about that. It was my own card that did me in. Ha ha ha. I'm a silly goose. Target one of your banished Christron monsters. I don't have any banished Christron monster. Damn it. I really needed Rion on the field. Battle phase. Did they forget they have a field spell out so they can't use evenly matched? Oh my god, you absolute buffoon. Normal summon Loptar. Loptar, who does nothing. Can't read. Uh, wait, what does this card do? Special summon a Gene Raider monster with a different name from your deck. Why are they doing that? They're not going to summon anything else, right? They can't do anything during my turn. They're literally hand-boned. Add a plant monster from your deck to your hand. You found Cubics and Ranked? Oh, fuck! They have new cards! I forgot about them! Shit. <laughs> oh, no! World Legacy Monstrosities! I wanted to save Maxi for my opponent's turn. But now I have to use it during their turn, and I'm one card down because I could have got even more cards out of this. I forgot the generators got new cards. Ooh, Cypher and Cure Gamma. I can't believe I couldn't use my normal summon. My life is so hard, chat. No one has it harder than me. Ooh, the boss of shadows. End phase? That's their whole turn. <gasps> can I use Wandering Griffin Rider during this draw phase? I don't think I can. Playing around Gamma. <laughs> Boss room. So no negates, huh? Adventure engine in this economy? Adventure engine's good. What you talking about? The wandering griffin rider. I'm just gonna use this for your extensions and shit. Maybe I should have opened with Drago back. Especially since they have an anti-negation tool with boss room. Nobody uses boss room though. Uh-oh, their negates out. The wandering griffin rider. Okay. Oh, <gasps> now I can use Draco back in order to bounce this card. Actually, I kind of want to bounce this one instead. Okay, now it's going to tag out. <gasps> and then I can activate the effect of Wandering Griffin Rider if I want to get screwed over by Boss Room. Really should have bounced the other card. I'm stupid. Or at least they're negate. Dang, 4,000 attack. I'm trying so hard right now. Oh my god, did it just eat all my cards? <gasps> I needed those. <laughs> Quan and Rion. Can I go into. Are there any good level fives I can go into? Uh, 
Fateful Avenger. <laughs> Response. Old school player, no idea what's happening. I don't have any idea what's happening either. Don't worry. Wait, they're gonna negate this? You absolute buffoon. I didn't even want to use that. I was just baiting you. What are my level sevens? I don't have level sevens. Are you kidding me? What about level fives? Do I have level fives? <laughs> I have a matrix. You change all synchro summon card is destroyed. I could summon Rion and then synchro with Water Enchantress during my opponent's turn, I guess. And then do nothing else of note. Just Synchron into Hyper Librarian? I don't get how to play this deck. Oh, I should watch, um... Hard Leg Joe's, uh... Christron Climb video. No, I don't want to use a card in response to my opponent's card effects. I want to use them as a chain link one. Otherwise, boss room is going to hand bone me. Special summon a Gene Raiders. Let me activate my quick effects. You weren't playing through a three material Leviathan. Oh my god! Stop having on summon effects. <laughs> I want to go into Christron Rion boss stage. Finally. Water Enchantress. Okay. What are they doing? And each player draws one card. <gasps> I want to draw a card. They're thinking about negating, but they can't negate. It only negates spell traps, right? Uh, select a card to give it as an XYZ material. I have to give it one of my cards as an XYZ material. Okay, whatever. It's an Omni Negate, is it? Why didn't they negate it then if it's an Omni Negate? Idiot. Only I'm smart. No one else is. Now it's immune to card effects this turn, unless they destroy it. Boss stage. I'm looking at this extra deck my opponent has over here, and these cards are so much better than mine. Select a card to send to the graveyard. <clears throat> okay. Return. I need to make some adjustments to this deck because it's kind of awful. <laughs> it's so bad. I still don't get how to play it. It seems really bad. It seems like you summon one card and then wait for it to not get destroyed. Heavy... Oh, wait, 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 one second. Let me remove some cards. To make it slightly more consistent. I could get rid of Ogre Dancer, too. I don't even need Ogre Dancer. Ogre Dancer is holding me back. With the wrist fin, I don't need two Griffin Riders. Super heavy. Damn it, I don't have it. Uh... Hmm. I don't think I have that. F A Um Clear Wing The Clear Wing Synchro Dragons. I guess those aren't option Oh yeah, yeah, satellite. Satellite How do you spell satellite? 
Satellite, and then we have Vermilion Dragon Mech. How come it's not showing up? Dragon Mech. Synchros 9. Okay. Is that Ogre Dancer at Chanbara? Who's Chanbara? It's getting late? It is getting late. Hmm. Elf? They're also using Sprite Elf? Psychic and Punisher, get rid of Changying, Quandrax, get rid of Punk Dancer, get rid of Trishula, and then craft this card. When this card Synchro Summon, target Machine Monster in your graveyard. G I don't want to generate it, you are. <gasps> Ooh, a free pull! I've never pulled from Super Heavy Samurais before, because they're garbage. What did I get? Nothing good. An Automat. 300 URs? I know, I'm so poor right now, and I don't know how to play this deck because I'm... Oh my god, is that the Terabyte? How long has Terabyte been here for? Super Heavy will be good soon? Psh. Unlikely. I'm new here? Hello there. We're chill and streaming today. We're being chill streamers and chilling while streaming. You played the fifth? Oh my god. Can you guys believe so many of my regulars have left me for stim? They all hate me. Ash Blossom, it searches out a car. I think it's probably better if I save this for Sarah. Arachno Champ! Log streams have been making my nights. <gasps> Trap Chick Sarah! Okay, special summon from the hand. I hate you, but I still watch. What? Why? Is that a whole card from your deck? Mm hmm. A whole Latia. You like Stim too? Well, I'm glad you guys see her appeal. And then activate Sarah's other effect, which I'm going to negate with Ash Blossom. 81.7% of decks use this? Whoa. Is it worth starting to play this game if I'm new? Hell yeah. Oh my god, I sent in a new video to my editor that we worked on for like, um... The difference between semicolons and colons and card effects. And I'm just like, man, I didn't even know this until I read this video. Hello there, Hasher Brown. Sim is pretty cool, in my opinion. Good, you guys better like her. <gasps> We're looking for new riders. How'd that go? Um, I haven't checked my emails today. I woke up and I went to my sister's house and I came back and streamed and I didn't really do anything else. It is before... No, 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 wait. No, I forgot to summon Griffith. Wait, they didn't set any traps? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Right meow? Okay, let's go into a wandering Griffin rider. What are they going to do? Nothing. Oh, they're going to activate Holatia in the graveyard in order to banish this card from the graveyard. Then target a trap card. I like you both. Wait, trap trucks in the back row? I know, right? Oh, <gasps> Max C. I gotta win this turn, otherwise I'm ham boned. Emergency teleportion. 
I need Z Amin. Oh my god, I was watching Stim's VOD because she streams super early, so I need to watch it live. I saw Hasher in her chat. Now that I think about it. But I also saw her trying to do the punk combo, and she's like, I can't do it, even though I've watched Hira's video. I don't know how to do the punk combo. <laughs> and I'm like, it's so easy. <laughs> Just watch the video again. Send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Send Thrissfin to the graveyard. Special summon Deer Note from the deck. She tries her best. She does try her best. The monster banished by card effect. Damage step attach it to it as material. God damn it. I needed that card in my graveyard. Set one whole normal trap directly from your deck. Back off. When a link monster is linked, summon destroy all monsters of the field that are not linked. Oh, that's a good card. Okay, then we're gonna go into the Chaos Ruler. They didn't steal my Foxy Tune, did they? Oh, thank God, Foxy Tune is still in the graveyard. Activate Chaos Ruler. Activate Deer Note to special summon the Foxy Tune. Okay. Not sure about YouTube, Master Duel has great tutorials on how to card mechanics work in specific decks. They also make you choose one of the best decks. They make you choose one of the... The starter decks are garbage. What are you talking about? Ooh, Adventure Engine. Did I use a normal summon effect this turn? I don't think I did. Add a card to your hand? Yeah, that Foxy too. Okay. Oh, crap. Faithful Adventure went to the grave. That's fine. I already have Griffin Rider on the board. Okay, then we activate Water Enchantress of the Temple in order to special summon an adventure token, which will make my Griffin Rider's effect live. Oh, <gasps> Master doesn't really repair you for the real decks are like. Nope. Fuck, my nose is itchy. Okay. But it's still better than Omega. Are you sure about that? Uh, I still haven't used my normal summon yet. And I'm not gonna. We'll use these two in order to go into that zombie vampire. Okay. What are they gonna do? Nothing. Do they have a Nibiru? Nope. That zombie vampire, in order to detach the Chaos Ruler. Mill three more cards. Hopefully I hit a... Spell to summon a monster. Hmm... Quan can go into a level 8. Or level 5. Zemin can go into a level 10. And I can start popping cards. <gasps> that Zemin. Oh, I can use Foxy Tune. Uh, uh, once per turn, tribute one punk monster, special summon this card from your hand. I can tribute one punk monster and special summon this card from my hand. Then I can normal summon Quan and then go into a level 9 synchro monster. The level 9s include Vermilion Dragon Mech, one tuner synchro plus one or more non tuner synchro monsters. Oh, I can go into Sulfnir. I can just get rid of that Quan in my hand. No, wait, I can just get rid of Entry. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm pushing buttons at this point. <laughs> I'm trying to OTK, but I don't know how to OTK because I'm bad at this deck. And I'm afraid of Nibiru. Okay. I am clicking buttons. I'm trying so hard right now. You guys have no idea. Pop the card. Then use its effect to special summon from the deck. I have 7,600 points of damage on board, which is not enough for a win. Select a card from your hand. Um, also destroy the card. And if you do, spell to summon a Christon Tuner Monster from your deck. Hmm. Destroy it. Spell to summon a Tuner Monster from your deck. Rosnix can get out a token. A level 1 token when he goes to the graveyard. And it's level 4, and I can use them to go into a level 7... My level 7s include F.A. Dawn Dragster. Which one am I trying to go into? I want to go into... 
Synchro materials used for this card. Two tuners plus one of our non-tuner monster. Two tuners. So if I go into this card... Target one, also destroy that card, and if you do spell summon a Christon Tuner Monster from your deck. And then I go into the level three. Do I have the level three in my deck? I don't I don't have the level three in my deck. Where is it at? Rion? Do I only have a single Rion in this deck? Oh my god. No Punisher? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my life is so hard. <laughs> Okay, uh, I can destroy one card. Normal summon Quan. Maybe I can do something here. I'm just gonna look. Do I have anything here? <gasps> oh, I can go into this one. Banish three cards your opponent controls. How 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 can I go into this one? With Griffin Rider and this one. Okay. Trishula, Dragon of the Zero Barrier, activate its effect. Banish three cards your opponent controls. Hopefully they don't have a rock. If they do, then I'm hand-boned. You actually had the materials? I know, right? I didn't even lock myself yet. <gasps> Nibiru. <gasps> they don't have Nibiru? That's game. That's enough to win! Add a Christron monster from your deck to your hand. Ooh, all I need to do is just enter the main phase and I win. Nope, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go for that Foxy Tune, tributing my Xeomin. Put in attack position. Activate Noah Punk Xeomin from the graveyard to buff it by even more attack power. That's 10,000 points of damage. And they can no longer use a Nibiru. Oh my god, I did it. Threw a maxi. Wow, and you guys didn't believe in me. You guys thought I was bad at this game, even though I'm so good at Christrons. Look at all these Christron combos. <laughs> it's definitely not just punk. <laughs> Why are Christrons so bad? <laughs> <laughs> we believed in you. I gotta go. I have I've been streaming for a little bit longer than I planned. I have other stuff I have to do today. Zombie milling. Tier zero. Did you forget about stim again? No. No, no. I just have like work to do. Normal work. Do you need an emulator to play this on PC? No, no. You just download it from Steam. Okay, who's online right now? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Meowie's about to end her stream. Maxi, she's having a tournament. Honkai Star Rail. Oh, you guys will love Kira. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was about to enter stream, so we're going to go to someone else. We're going to go over to Kira. You guys will love Kira Hishitora, even though she's playing Star Rep right now. Normally, she plays Yugi. She does play Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. She was in my team when we had the, the tournament. What's great about Kira is that she has the most active NSFW server that I've ever seen on a Discord. And also... One time when I was in her stream, she talked about um, penises for like two hours straight. <laughs> she's, she's wild. You guys will love her. The what? What? She's 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 a hoot. She's very entertaining. You guys will like her. She also plays Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. 